Rich Lund, and this is Indie Labs Episode Zero. And that means this is just a brief introduction telling you what Indie Labs is trying to be. At face value, Indie Labs is a collection of do-it-yourself at-home science experiments. Now, I know that there's a lot of science videos out there. And believe me, I think that's a good thing. But I noticed a while back that a lot of these videos fall into one of two categories. Many videos out there will talk about some really cool science topics and can teach you a lot about them. But they don't really ever give the viewer something to do. Nothing hands-on. Meanwhile, there's other science videos that give you like an at-home science experiment to do, but they never really get into the science behind what's actually going on. They don't teach you a whole lot. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm a fan of both of those kinds of videos. I just wanted to do something a little bit different. Science should be a hands-on, engaging experience, not a passive one. So Indie Labs is committed to bringing you at-home science experiments, but we're also not going to skimp on exploring the actual science behind whatever it is we're doing. We're going to try to teach you something. Now, some of the experiments that we do, they are of my own devising. But also, you might see us do an experiment where you could say, hey, I've already seen somebody do that in another video before. Hey, I understand. The thing is, though, when you've seen other people do it in a video, probably it wasn't their original idea either. Many different science activities and demos out there, they're actually classics. But here's what I can promise you. I'm not just going to rehash ideas that you've already seen before. If I'm pulling out something that's a classic, well-trodden territory, I'm going to make sure that I give it my own twist. Perhaps I've modified it to make it a little bit easier, a little bit more interesting, or I'm approaching it from a new angle, trying to use something that you've seen before to teach you something new. And finally, one last thing that you can expect from Indie Labs. While I don't guarantee that every experiment that we do is going to be easy to do, we are committed to making sure that it involves low-cost materials. I believe that science belongs to everyone, and it should be in the hands of everyone. You shouldn't be kept from having a real, meaningful experience with science just because of a tight budget. So if you're a kid who loves science experiments, or you're just a kid at heart who loves them too, or if you're a teacher looking for some low-cost activities, come check out Indie Labs. There's something here for you. Oh yeah, and if you want to see a science topic explored, we also take requests from time to time. I'm Rich Lund. Thanks for checking this out. And if you let us, Indie Labs is going to put the science in your hands. Catch you later. Hand me that mic back. I just can't leave it alone. I transmit to it more gamma than a massive star supernova. Like any creation disc. Round your favorite black hole. I'll be spinning and spinning and rotating. I'm taking thrones. Don't worry about it, pa. It was never yours. You can't be wearing a crown when the set you claim ain't your own. I learned that long time ago back when I was screaming.